As they say in those 7-Eleven commercials, too much good stuff. There is too much good stuff. So how do you know what to watch? We've got all these sources now and billions and billions of hours to watch. I'm beginning to sound like Carl Sagan. There's over 3,000 hours of Jeopardy alone somewhere out there. Oh, God. Now, those who solved that search for the needle in the video haystack are our next Emmy recipients because they've created smart software, and I hate this part, that learns your likes and dislikes and recommends other video offerings to you. It collects your feedback, it narrows down the choices, and it learns by your recommendations what it's going to offer you next time. Receiving the Emmy for Personalized Recommendation Engines for Video Discovery are Ginny, Think Analytics, Digital Smiths, and Comcast. And the first to accept the award is Yossi Glick, co-founder and CEO of Ginny. Thank you, the Academy. Wow, I never thought I would ever say that. Now I, I feel like Seth Rogen. <laughs> so we had this crazy idea a few years ago that we want to reverse engineer Hollywood. In other words, we wanted to reflect the intention of the scriptwriter, the director, to reflect the storyline, the mood, and all the other uh, elements. And that was a pretty crazy idea uh, back then. And we wanted to do it because we wanted to classify content much better. And we did it because we wanted to build a guide that breaks the grid. We had enough of that grid, right? And we wanted to allow users to find content not by action, comedy, and drama, maybe by dysfunctional family, life is a bitch, or something like that. So this is an entirely different approach uh, that we wanted to allow. And that's how we started Gini. And we were using semantic technology, and we were using various artificial intelligence uh, uh, techniques for that. And of course, this award is also for the team back in Tel Aviv that really worked to develop all those smart algorithms that really understand text, almost like NSA, but for entertainment. <laughs> so uh, the, so uh, that's how we, uh, we evolved uh, uh, over time. So I would not be here today, of course, without uh, customers adopting our maybe crazy vision, but at least I would like to think a fresh approach to finding content. And I can mention a few names, uh, Comcast, AT&T, and, and Voodoo. And in fact, one of them told me the other day that Genie added Kama Sutra to their user experience. Thank you very much. So why is it that when I go online and look up Kama Sutra, I'm directed to Home Depot? <laughs> Jeez. All right, accepting the award on behalf of Think Analytics, please welcome Eddie Young, Chairman and CEO. Hi, I especially want to thank the uh, Academy for this prestigious award. Um, I think most importantly, I want to thank uh, the guy at the back of the of the hall here, um, my partner and CTO, Pete Doherty, who's done a fantastic job with his engineering teams here in, uh, in LA, and also back, as you can tell by my accent, back in Scotland. He's built two fantastic engineering teams, um, algorithmic developers, um, who will now sell Think Analytics throughout the world, not just here in North America, but also throughout Europe, uh, the Far East, and now, now LATAM. 
So a fantastic achievement. And I think, you know, being based here in the, the US and North America, um, continually getting my leg pulled about being a Scotsman, the accent, and how come every time you meet a Scotsman, everything that's invented in the world is always best in Scotland. All the best, all the, all the best inventions come from Scotland. Well, in this case, it's actually true. Yeah, but more importantly, in uh, 1926, um, one John Logie Baird, you guessed it, a Scotsman, did actually invent television. He was the first guy to broadcast live moving black and white pictures on the screen. There I rest my case. Okay, but thank you very much for this award and uh, taking this back to Scotland. Thank you. He's absolutely right, you know. There is a book out there called How the Scots Invented the Modern World. It's great reading. You ought to, you ought to look it up. Now accepting the award on behalf of Digital Smiths is Ben Weinberger, co-founder and Vice President of Services. Ben? So I've got it on my phone also, and I uh, thought that was the best way to do this. But I'm proud to represent some of the best and smartest people in the industry in this space, and I think it's uh, telling that there's four of us receiving this award tonight. This is an emerging, really exciting area that it's, it's hard to say what, who is doing exactly the, the best pieces and who's doing what pieces. We all do something really unique, and all of us are doing something really interesting. So I'm proud of my co-award uh, winners as well. We have an amazing team based in Durham, North Carolina. I want to make sure that the uh, Research Triangle Park has its due accolades, and I'm sure there's some of you that hail from that area. I want to thank all of that team and my co-founder, Matt Berry, who's our CTO. We had an amazing journey, and about a year ago, exactly this time, we had this secret meeting with a company called TiVo that you guys probably know, and a few weeks later, we announced that they acquired our company. So it's been an amazing, journey up until that point, an amazing journey since that point. And what got us to there is clearly our customers. And we have uh, incredible customers in the, in the industry, some of the best tier one partners in the US and outside of the US. And I look forward to continuing that. And I really appreciate everything that not only our customers have done for us, but what TiVo has done to foster our continued creativity in this space. Great company, great industry, and this is a, uh, a fantastic award. Goes out to all of our team and all the folks sitting at uh, table 19 as well. Thank you, guys. Our final honoree for this innovation is Comcast, and here to accept. Well, hello, support for cons Comcast is the vice president, metadata products and search services for Comcast, Rick Rioboli. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be accepting this for Comcast. Um, I've been with the company now for about 10 years, and it's amazing to me um, how this company has changed over the last 10 years. We, we were a self-proclaimed um, fast follower in the cable industry when I first joined the company. And now we are really focused on um, products and engineering and technology. And we're really becoming a technology and product company versus just a sort of a cable and wires or um, cable company. So it's been really exciting to be a part of that. It all started with um, a project we called internally Excalibur, which um, was really code name for what you may all know now as the X1 platform. Hopefully some of you have it. Um, it's a very easy to use interface. Um, even, even Alex, I think, would, would, would find it um, uh, easy to use. And um, the system we built behind that is something we call Compass, and it's our metadata and content discovery engine, and we're really excited about it. Um, would really like to thank all the folks um, in Compass that have made this possible. Lots of folks on the X1 team, and, and across Compass, I mean at Comcast, that uh, made all this possible. Thank you very much. <laughs> 